Huh? What's this all about? Isn't that Ms. Hinkle's junk press? No, that's the junk press from my trawler. You need to help me fix it. Yeah, but it looks exactly like Ms. Hinkle's junk press from the tutorial in part one. So what? Who's going to notice? Those who played part one don't even need a tutorial. Yeah, but I bet they're going to play it through anyway, because they just can't get enough of me. Count me out. I'm definitely not going to suffer through this whole tutorial thing again. I mean, it was stupid enough the first time around. Ah, come on. Little repetition can't hurt. Then how do you explain this blister? That is where I burned myself when I repeatedly put my hand on a hot stove. You never learn, do you? Au contraire, I have a, a nearly photographic memory. Do you now? So, do you remember how to use the interface in order to talk to someone? And? Are you paying close attention? I sure am. I should hope so. Otherwise, you'll never understand how... T t um... How to look at an object. But I already know that. I see. And how? What's that? It's the reactor lead head. But it was a cathode plunger in the last game. It's the lead head, believe me. You need it to repair the press. And how exactly am I going to do that if I can't even pick the thing up? Huh? Where'd it go? <laughs> you put it in your inventory. You know, where all your items go. Hey, there it is. Exactly. Now, this is your inventory. I knew that. Here you can view all the stuff you're lugging around. You remember how to do that, don't you? Look here, Bozo. I fixed the part. I won't believe that until I see it in operation. I know. My handyman skills are really incredible. <laughs> it fits. Next you need to... Hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. Whatever. When you're ready, you need to... Hold your horses, will ya? It's just a button. I think I can manage without your help. Rufus, don't. You're standing right under the... Don't panic. You don't think I'd fall for the same feeble gag twice. So, uh, what was that again? I pushed this button here, and then... Didn't look all that feeble to me. They came out of nowhere. With their cruisers, plasma weapons, and mechanical beards. Organized. They took our village by force. They left nothing behind but tears and devastation. They were looking for gold and Elysium, the girl that fell from the sky. And only one person was prepared to save her. He woke her up, contacted her fiance, and took her to the Lower Ascension Station, only to learn the shocking truth once he got there. Cletus, Gold's fiancé, wasn't acting out of love. He had an agreement with Ulysses, the mysterious leader of the Organon, and Argus, his right hand. They needed the Ascension Code hidden away in Gold's brain implant. And they wanted to erase her memory. They wanted to make sure no Elysian would ever know that our world is inhabited. 
for their goal was terrible beyond imagination. They wanted to blow up our world. But they had failed to reckon with the one. He swapped the cartridges. And he restored Gold's memory so that she could bear the truth to Elysia. The name of this one man, this selfless hero, was... Um, that wasn't the whole story, was it? That was the first part. I think it's going to be a trilogy. Sounds a bit unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievably cool. But if it really all happened like that, shouldn't I be on my way to Elysium with Cletus? So what are you doing here? Where is Cletus? Why am I unable to remember any of this? And forgive me for asking, but... Why is there a burning saw blade stuck in the side of the ship? Oh, uh, that. Oh, well, da 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 ba ba ba. I was about to get to that part. So listen up. Da 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 You're being pathetic, again about accurate bacteria in the fridge. It's getting boring, but packing bags due to the tea socks I threw to clamshade shrimp border some anodons gone. Didn't I explicate it? Are you still not persuaded? Scratch growing on your time, panic membrane. Remember to pull yourself, sacrifice to the gosh, not to start all over again. Bizarre all over again. Trash, trash, trash. And more trash. Isn't it adorable? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hard to imagine I ever wanted to leave here. Ah, Rufus. This is the lad I was telling you about. What? Him? From what you told me, I had imagined a smart young man, not a filthy bum. There's more to him than meets the eye. When I first met him, Rufus was still a... How shall I put this? Just say it. I was a self-indulgent slob, but I'm steadily improving. That's right. Right now, for example, he is helping Bozo to get the trawler shipshape. So I am. I was going to ask you whether I can borrow your hammer. No problem. You can take it from my toolbox over there. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. Trash. I still don't know, really. Something just doesn't seem right about that boy. But, Grandma Utz, whatever are you talking about? Hmm. Trash. Aren't you worried he might steal something? I trust him completely. Didn't you tell me that he suffers from an exaggerated opinion of himself? Those days are over. Rufus has learned a lot. He is much more careful than before. If that's all true, then he must have turned himself around 180 degrees. That's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. I 
hope your young friend doesn't get too close to my John Thomas. The poor thing is so small and fragile. Don't worry. The Rufus I know loves animals. He wouldn't harm the pretty little head of your John Thomas. Rufus seems like a brutal thug to me. Rufus? Brutal? Ha <laughs> ha! Never! I just hope he doesn't turn my whole house upside down. He's just getting a hammer. How much damage could he possibly do? And you're sure he won't do anything to my John Thomas? One hundred percent. All I'm saying is that he seems very clumsy. Your fears are completely groundless. Rufus has become very careful since his last adventure. If that's all true, then he must have turned himself around 180 degrees. That's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. And he shouldn't give John Thomas too much to drink under any circumstances. <laughs> Well, if that's all you're worried about... Something like that can kill a little bird. Rufus isn't going to drown your bird by accident. He would ask before he used my water supply, wouldn't he? Absolutely. Good. Good. I have to get by on what I have until the end of the month. You almost have me convinced, but there is one thing that still worries me. He had better not clog my garbage disposal. The blades are so sharp. Things are always getting caught in there. Oh, Grandma. You worry about the silliest things. If you promise me that he will be careful, then everything is all right. Just as long as nothing happens to my John Thomas. Promise. Hmm. Then I should apologize. I suppose your Rufus really must have improved. Well, what do you know? Here it is. Have you found it at last? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. It certainly took you long enough. I hope you didn't leave a mess. Me? No way. But enough chit-chat. Bozo's waiting. Just relax, Rufus. It's not like anything's on fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. By the way, what's that funky smell? Rufus, have you gone completely off the deep end? You almost set Grandma Utz's heart on fire. All for a good cause. You committing suicide? 
No, I'm traveling to Elysium. But Rufus, we've been through all that. I thought you would finally become reasonable. Become reasonable? I am reasonable. And that's exactly why my plan is gonna work this time. What plan are you talking about? Well, what does it look like? It looks like a madman's attempt to refute the principle of action and reaction. Close enough. Goodness gracious me. As soon as I step on these bellows, the cork will hit the three targets one by one. In a spectacular chain reaction, this will cause the rockets to be lit and the safety rope to be cut. I have calculated everything. Just watch and learn. Oh, and keep away from the falling blade if you want to hold on to your fingers. Take a good look. Rufus, no! Doc. Uh-oh. Doc, that's not a good place for a nap. The Bunsen burner could boil away the water in the vase any minute. And when the scales pan goes up, it will trigger the guillotine. The fuse is already lit. Doc, are you listening? Wake up! Oh, what a bummer. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Darn it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And whoop! Woof! Perfect body control, as always. Maybe I can scratch a little black powder out of there. That shouldn't affect the flight characteristics of the saw blade, should it? <laughs> that tickles. With the right momentum, I could catapult the black powder into the air intake of the bellows. Easy and totally realistic. If the black powder reaches the flames, it could ignite the gas. And then, hmm, there's bound to be an interesting chain reaction whose outcome is very difficult to predict. What am I waiting for? <laughs> oh, it worked! I saved Doc! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Rufus. Rufus. Huh? What? You haven't answered my question. How did you get here? I just don't understand. That's because there is nothing to understand. The whole story is nothing but one big filthy lie. Almost as filthy as Rufus, but not quite. Cletus? Of course it's Cletus. Why would that surprise you? I am not the one who barged in here uninvited. I have come to save my planet. Well done, moron. Goal and I had reached an agreement. I was trying to keep the existence of the Deponians a secret from the Council of Elders so that Deponia could be exploded, but Goal convinced me to tell the truth. We were just about to save Deponia. The escape pod was taking us to Elysium. Now, it's useless. We're not going to make it to Elysium, and the Council of Elders will never learn about the Deponians. Bravo, Rufus. That was a stroke of genius. Don't listen to him, Goal. He's lying through his teeth. I don't know. His version does sound pretty convincing. Now, remember, he's lied to you before. The Goal that I know would never have let him get away with it. That's because you only know one part of Goal. The part that is naive and idealistic. The Goal that I know is a fighter who will stand up for what she believes in. But there is a third part as well. And that part sides with me. Isn't that true, Goal? There is no third part. You tell him, Goal. I... I just don't know. I, I can't remember a thing. Of course you can't. 
Thanks to this flea bag's brilliant intervention, your brain implant has been damaged. It's a habit of his. I I'll fix it! Don't worry! You still don't get it, do you? We have no use for you here. If you really want to help Gold, then jump. We're directly over the ocean. With a little luck, you may even survive the fall. No! No, this isn't right! Oh, come on. Do what is best for Gold. That looks like an injector seat. Huh, there's still dust on the label. <laughs> a shrink ray. <laughs> That's even better than an ejector seat. Wait, there's more dust. <sighs> awesome! A bear! That's my favorite so far! <sighs> huh, must be the ejector seat after all. <sighs> and again, the shrink ray. The bear. I like the bear. I better not blow again. I'm what's best for goal. No, don't! Ha! Huh, nothing. Why? I wonder if... Uh-oh! No! Goal! You idiot! Goal? No, 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 no! You blasted idiot! Peters, help me! Hang on. Don't panic. I'll come and get you. Somehow? Do you finally realize the damage you're doing? Cletus! Don't panic. I'll get you. Why don't I do everyone a favor and kill you right here? I'm coming, Gaul. Hang in there. Where do you think you're going? I'm on my way. Watch out! The rope's going to break at any moment! What are you doing? Did you really think you could get away like that? Say bye-bye, Rufus. Cletus! No! Cletus! Ah! Ah! Oh dear, what have I done? Ah! I still can't believe he really did that. No need to worry, really. He's just like a wombat. He often falls, but he always lands on all, uh, um, all the others. I know. What is that noise? What the... Goal? Ah, uh, don't be silly. If that were goal, the next we could expect... Uh... Rufus? Rufus. Ouch. Everything's ready for detonation, Bailiff. Acknowledged, Chief Blaster. Anything else? Are there no new instructions? We could start the countdown now. I appreciate your eagerness, but this is not a training maneuver. This is about destroying the zone around the Rust Red Sea, before we blow up the entire planet. I see, Bailiff. Stop! Interrupting me! I know very well what is at stake here. Do you think I wasn't aware of all the implications? It is true. Inspector Cletus has not yet reached Elysium. We can only guess what kept him. But as long as there is still hope that he will complete his task, we need not worry. Until then, I don't want to hear about any countdowns. Do you understand? Yes, I do, Bailey. Cletus is going to succeed. He will convince the Council of Elders that there is no sentient life on Deponia. And, if he should fail, then we shall see to it that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Uh, dismissed! I have too many worries of my own to deal with your moral misgivings, so get out! Out, I say! Y uh, yes, sir. Where the devil is Cletus?
Only the most epic tales feature cool depictions <laughs> of saw blades crashed into cable boat walls. The account is all blunt stunt, effective goals and planned, which surely can't be blamed on Rufus at all. Reckoning up the sun, the best was yet to come. For the end of part one seemed a little too coarse, and to amend we'll send him to attend a second chance for a decent happy end in the grand fling. Dancing and boots and so forth. A star with boots and so forth. I think I ought to fire my chiropractor. Doc? Huh. We seem to have docked. But where is everybody? Huh. A note from Bozo. That old pirate. Good morning, Lazy Bones. Doc took gold to his office. Huh. Finally someone who uses his brain. She wasn't feeling all that well. Yada, 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 blood from her ears, blah, blah, blah. You can find me in the tavern. Tavern? Now that sounds promising. Huh, there's something else. Don't forget to go and see Doc. He needs your help. <sighs> Why can't they ever manage without me? Ah, nothing beats a fresh breeze from the sea. The smell of freedom and adventure. And tar and toxic chemicals. And Tony's mother? Shh, you're scaring the fish. Ah, uh, rotten fish. Close enough, but this native presents a welcome opportunity to make use of my cosmopolitan tactfulness and my linguistic skills. Me, Rufus, where I find lab belong to Doc. Are you talking to me, ape man? We put maps up for people like you. Ah, you mean heroes passing through? I mean people we prefer not to talk to. Hey, just so you know it, I have an excellent sense of direction. I don't need your stinking maps. So what you looking at it for? I'm not looking. I'm just shooting it a contemptuous glance. Uh, but where's the tavern? Ah, oh, well, who cares? I guess I'll go see Doc first, then. I can look around the town later. First, I have to help Doc get Goal back into shape. Can't have the old coot grabbing all the credit for himself. First, I have to... Can't have the old... First, I have to can't have
Hey, look what I've got. And now, be a good dog and fetch the stick. What's wrong? Fetch the stick, or are you too stupid? Yes, exactly. That's it. Fetch that stick. Hmm. No. You go fetch that stick now. Atta boy. If you're so fond of that stick, why don't you go get it yourself? And if you're a good boy, I might even let you pass. <sighs> Go on, I just threw a stick, and you are a dog. So, what do dogs do in a case like this? I wait for you to make an even bigger fool of yourself? No, wrong. You fetch the stick, or are you too stupid? Wait, wait, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Really just do that, did you? <laughs> I, I can't take it anymore. Hey, look what I've got. And now, be a good dog and fetch the stick. What's wrong? Fetch the stick, or are you too stupid? Yes, except that's it. All right. I think enough is enough. Please forgive me for yanking your chain. So will you fetch it now? I'm afraid I can't. I am programmed to stay in front of this door. But if you fetch it for me one last time, then I'll let you pass. Promise. Wait, wait. I'll show you how it's done. But pay better attention this time. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> hey, look. And now. What's wrong? Or are you too... Yes, that's it. Oh, come on. All right. Please forgive. So will you... Fa I'm afraid I am, but... That would make a... Unfortunately... Wait, wait. I'll sh... But pay... B oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That barking trash can may think he can shock me, but I'll show him what a shock. What? Well, I'm when when the shock. I mean, what what the what the shock? Oh, whatever. Some ingenious pun with shock. <laughs> shock. <laughs> because of the electric shock and and, and so on. Oh, come on, Rufus. You don't need a punchline to be brilliant. <laughs> now he's in for a nasty shock. Hey, what's wrong? Are you giving up? Yes, you were right. This stick business is just too much for me. You stupid muddy cur. Here, like this. You put the stick in your mouth. <laughs> oh boy, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, 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 oh boy.
Hey, Doc. Rufus. At last, Goal really almost bought it this time. But, as I can see, you have everything under control. I'll, uh, go look for Bozo, then. He mentioned a tavern. Her implant has been badly damaged. I need to operate right away. There is only one problem. The data cartridge is not going to survive the procedure. I take it that's a bad thing? Well, yes. Her entire mind is stored on the thing. Her memory, her character. The ascension codes. I can save the data, but I need a bunch of empty cartridges. And these cartridges are hard to obtain? Mm, not really. This is the floating black market, after all. There's nothing you can't get here. And brain implants are currently all the rage. I installed another one just the other day. You will find the cartridges in the gadget shop. What? Why me? Because I need to get ready for the surgery. And I need to familiarize myself with the local circumstances. Bozo said something about a tavern? Rufus. All right, all right. So I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. The cheap ones are bound to cause problems. Well, it's your money. Hey, you. Who? Me? No. We're talking to the three-headed platypus behind you. We've been watching you. We know what you're planning. Oh, yeah? Seems like you know more than I do. News spreads fast in the floating black market. You've got something very valuable there. It mustn't fall into the wrong hands. And your hands would be the right ones? Let's just say we're friends. We're the good guys. We fight against oppression by the Organon. Death to the Organon. The Organon is planning something. Something unspeakable. So unspeakable that we cannot talk about it. We've got to go. We've already said too much. But we'll be back. And then we'll get what is rightfully ours. Do not talk about this to anybody. Keep your back to the wall. And do not forget who your true friends are. Death to the Organon. Death to the Organon. What was that all about? And who have we here? Well, if it isn't the newcomer that everyone's talking about. They're talking about me. High time, too. All those stories of my heroic deeds are actually quite understated. We're not interested in fairy tales. You've got something that we want. Huh. Tough. Good looks is something you're born with. We are talking about the secret ascension codes. The ascension codes? Over my dead body. Uh, wait. Let me rephrase that. Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Ow! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Oh! Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Oof! Ow! Oh. 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 Uh, he hasn't uh, got the money. I guess he isn't as stupid as he looks. So what do we do now? We'd better report this to Donna. Oh! Oh! Lots of friendly people here. Oh, maybe I should tone it down a bit. Huh. 
I would love to claim that I don't rummage around in trash, but who am I kidding? After all, this is Deponia. Blah, slimy. Oh, that is disgusting. No, I've had it. I simply do not belong here. I... Wait, what's this? Hey, that's my old anchovy bait. It's still good. Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopomat 2000. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, Doc sent me to get a set of cartridges. Of course, we currently offer two different brands. The first is Platinum Proof Professional. They are somewhat more expensive, but of better quality. There is a cheaper kind as well. Cowboy Dodo's Jolly All-Purpose Cartridges. Their quality may not be top of the line, but they come with a free colorful lollipop. A lollipop? So which brand do you prefer? Um. And those are really the good cartridges? Of course. Remember, Gold's mind is at stake here. All right. Here goes nothing. Hmm? Oh, Did it work? I'm not sure. Something's not right. Mm, Rufus? Uh, I might have known. Why does the same question pop up in my mind every time I set eyes on you? Who's that good-looking guy in the snappy overcoat? Where am I? Because the aura of my magnetism is befuddling your sense of orientation. Seriously, where did you drag me off to this time? And what is that awful smell? This is the floating black market. You're safe here. Safe? Rufus, I was on my way to Elysium. Well, yes, you were, but with the wrong guy. Cletus wanted to help me. And you trust that lying slime bag? Guess who I am more likely to trust. My fiancé or his cheap imitation? Hey, what's up with you? What's up? I wake up only to find myself in some stinking torture chamber. That's what's up with me. I'm already itching all over just because I'm forced to breathe this foul, polluted air. I'm about to be sick. I need to get out of here. She seems to be pretty mad. Not really. I just have a certain effect on explosive women. What? Lighting the fuse? Yeah, very funny. But she actually did seem a little volatile. Are you sure you didn't mess her up somehow? Hmm. I think I might be able to explain this. Some information wasn't written to the cartridge. Almost as if we had used the cheap ones. Not as cheap as your excuses. Her mind appears to have been split three ways. So, the woman who just stomped out of the lab is only a part of Gold? And not the most agreeable part, I hope. Come on, Doc. I thought you were an expert. It is nothing that I can't fix. But for that, I need all three cartridges, including the one that is currently inserted in her implant. Also, I cannot operate without the consent of the patient. Therefore, all three parts of Goal must cooperate before I can go ahead with the surgery. Oh yeah, judging from her mood, she'll be positively enthusiastic about you flipping open her skull again. Hmm, agreed. Maybe you had better start with a different part of her character. Huh? Take the two cartridges that are still in the output hopper. And this thing. 
What is it? A remote control? Not quite. See that compartment in the back? Just insert one of the other cartridges and press the button when you're close to go. That's what I said, a remote. It's more complicated than that. Data's written to a buffer and... And I can zap back and forth between two characters. No. Yes. Something like that, but... Just like a remote. <sighs> Just like a remote. Cool. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. Hurry up, Rufus. The longer the fragments of her character get used to their independence, the more difficult it will become to talk them into having that surgery done. Go find Go, and persuade her, all three parts of her. I will prepare everything else here in the meantime. All right, here we go. All right, Rufus, this is a routine situation for a ladies' man like yourself. Easy peasy. No reason at all to be nervous. You are eloquent and witty. Very handsome. And your hair smells of solvents. Now, for the right facial expression. Here it comes. Check. Charm cannons at full blast. <laughs> and now to come up with the best possible line. Oh, that's it. A classic. Take a deep breath and then. <sighs> Here I go. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, heavens, it's you again. You never give up, do you? So, this is where you've been hanging out. Believe me, I would much rather be on the West Promenade by the Rotating Gardens. At this time of year, Morris serves the best soyacino in all of Elysium. Instead, I'm sitting in this hole in the ground drinking... What is this, anyway? Camel drool. What else? Camel drool. No, wait. The camel drool's still under the counter. What you got there is the tincture for my nail infection. Ah! Oh. 
Does that mean you bathed your filthy nails in this? Yeah, but go ahead and drink it. Apparently it only works on fingernails. And this is where my mechanisms of repression should be kicking in. Ah, here they are. Are you mad at me for some reason? Whatever makes you think that? You kidnapped me, caused me a bad head injury. That's not the way I remember it. You appear to be suffering from a perception disorder. You mean, in reality, you're not sexy at all? Just stay away from me. Understood? You have to come with me and see Doc. What for? So you can demolish my head even further? Ah, really turned your head, did I? Turning heads and demolishing them are two different things. <laughs> With Tony's tortoise, they weren't. Listen, Rufus, I am dirty, my hair is a mess, and my head feels like someone sliced through my skull with a circular saw. Yes, but there's no proof. And to top it all off, I'm starving. So, you had better stay away from me. Hey, if you're hungry, I've got a leftover bowl of peanuts from our last mud cake festival. Ooh, yuck! It's growing hair! I bet this little bowl contains more killer bacteria than a biological warfare lab. Nah, we're all out of killer bacteria. These are influenza viruses. You must come with me! Something went wrong with the surgery! What do you mean, something went wrong? Well, y you know the fairy tale of, about the three bears? It was pretty much like that, just that there were no bears, and that your mind was, uh, you know, split three ways during botched brain surgery, that's all. <laughs> what? what? No, 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 don't panic, I'll fix everything. <sighs> Won't you please just come along? No, I'd rather starve here. Can't we speed this up a little? We both know that you can't resist me forever. I said no. And if you were a gentleman, you would know what that word means. What do I have to do to make you come along? First of all, you should look up the meaning of the word no. Yeah, all right. Let's assume I just did that. What would I have to do next? <sighs> Could I interest you in a romantic dinner? A dinner invitation? Really? Huh. Maybe there is a spark of gallantry left under that filthy coat of yours. Dinner first. You can go looking for my gallantry later. Which restaurant do you have in mind? And is it clean? A restaurant? I was thinking of, you know, an extra serving of peanuts. I mean, they're free, aren't they? Yeah, if you don't count the doctor's bill. Ah, great. Oh, it sounded too good to be true. Just forget it. Hey, baby. Uh, there he goes again. We're actually not all that different. Neither of us belongs on this planet. That's right. I belong on Elysium, and you belong in solitary confinement. No, no. Well, what I meant was we belong together. We, we are soulmates, so to speak. I have no idea where you get that notion. I am sophisticated. I am educated. Check. Check. I haven't got any communicable diseases. Uh, but I still maintain that we're, we're very similar. Just don't come too close to me, will you? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? It did indeed. Oh, right. Yes, I, I can imagine. Here's looking at you, kid. Why? Do you have a sty or something? Now that you mention it, I, I've actually got a little eye infection. Ugh, keep your distance, okay? What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Good question. What am I doing here? Oh, I remember. You dropped me from the escape pod. Saved you, dropped you. Doesn't all that depend on, on the point of view? <laughs> Only if you're a short-sighted idiot. Luckily, that's easy to verify. Hey, Bozo, did I rescue Goal? No idea. I gave up trying to understand what you were doing a long time ago. You see? Bozo thinks I'm cool, too. I give up. I'm afraid I already know you better than that. 
Wait here, I'll be right back. Is that a promise? Of course. Good. That increases the chances that you'll stay away. <laughs> what a woman. The cartridge fits. Now the remote just has to work. Thanks to my charm, the rest will be child's play. Huh? What the? Where am I? Don't you know? You haven't had that much to drink. This is still Gulliver's Gully, the darkest dive in the floating black market. Floating black market? Not on Deponia. Where else? Rufus, I'll wring his neck. Everything okay? Just give me some of your strongest. As long as I'm here, I may as well rot my brain. One rust red brain death, coming right up. Hmm? You again. What do you want? So, this is where you've been... So what? Do I have to ask your leave every time I want to go somewhere? Um, yes, that would be helpful. A dream on, wimp! I don't even know myself how I got here. But since I'm here now, anyway, I might as well explore my surroundings. And by surroundings, I mean this drink. Hey, you can't do that! Calm down. It's all on Rufus today. But that was my lighter fluid! <laughs> yeah, that's how it tasted. Hit me with another. You have to come... I must? I... But your health is at... Don't worry. But if you don't... Then what? Will I get bruises? Will I get a nosebleed? No, not... But you will if you keep... Yeah, well, bother bo... Uh, Rufus. What? what? A little friendly advice. Never provoke a woman with a temper. Believe me, I once knew a woman who... You, you stay, stay out, out of this! Of this. Uh, you two do what you want, then. Where were we? I think I was about to bring you with this bar stool. Ah, yes, great. Then let's proceed. Hey! No fighting in my bar, you hear? Yeah. Mm. You must come with- So what? Do you hear me? Will you listen? Your implant was- Meh. Your- Please, go! Make me if you- I'd love- I do have arms. Oh, I thought you would drop some spaghetti- Take a good look at- because you- uh, Rufus. I don't think that's a very bright idea. <laughs> if only I had a Zloty for it. Then maybe I could finally afford. I just mean, uh, you got. Or the steel plate to cut. Are you even. Or the tympanic mem. I give up. Won't you please. Nope. Nope. Stubbornness. See. If you want. Nope. But. Nope. What if. What do I have. Ha! <laughs> Here the. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, man. I told you. But since you refuse to listen to me. Hmm. If I listen to you, will you sing? I don't know how the lyrics go. It's quite here. The dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dum bum. Oh yeah. Dang. We have to keep no war. Really? I'll just. Damn. Aren't you even? Not really. You're in. That should. So well. <laughs> <laughs> you. Wow. Damn. Hey. Are you trying to? <laughs> Say, hey, I can rap you. You'd better be. See, I haven't even. Ugh. You're actually pretty cool. We're a. Huh. Your mouth. Would you like. Ah, uh, no. Did it hurt? Yes. Mm, probably did. Here's looking at you. Who are you calling a. Kid? Oh, yeah? Who. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Hey! No. What's in that? Right now. Let me know. Uh, try your. Oh, ah. Get. I'll find a way. As weak as you. As weak. Ugh. Wait here. No. Th what? How did I wind up here? Most people ask that, but very few of them really want to hear the answer. <laughs> You're funny. Hmm? Oh, it's you! How nice! So... Have I? That's great. I can't even... It doesn't really matter how you got here. What's more... Oh, in a dir... Uh, no, not in a dirigible. Oh. M maybe later. Yippee! You have to come... Oh my gosh. Am I sick then? No, you... Oh dear. I think I'm running a fever. No, no, you're, you're not sick. 
Um, my lovely good mum. Look and tell me if my uvula is swollen. Ah. Uh... Will you listen to me? You're not. Oh, and here. I... But you, you, you. Oh my god! Am I sick then? <sighs> this is going to be one of the. Won't you please? Where? Well. Who's dog? Say. Did... Hmm. Did I? Yeah, actually. Can't you remember? Well, you. Rufus. <sighs> This is my head. Uh, you obviously can't remember anything at all. That makes it even more important for you to go see Doc. Um, you're probably right. You are so... <laughs> so, we need to prevent... Wait, wait. Did... You're planning to stop the Organon? Don't tell me you're with those res... Resistance? What are you talking about? What are you... Th you know... Yanosh. I first and then... Did you hear that? Uh, for... I heard it. How terrible. But we're gonna... We can't... We need to... I... Will you come along to see Doc now? But Rufus, in a such a fate, I no, I was doing it actually. Uh, here just well, it's. Will you come? But in the f I no, I was doing it uh, here just. Well, it's just. What do I have to? I don't. Can you? Of course. I'm. Uh, we just. Uh, oh, but then. Hey. Are you talking to? <laughs> Did it? I oh. <laughs> Here's look. Huh? It's. <sighs> What's an I this is and why she's What are you doing? Now Ronnie is print Oh how cute I didn't know you were an animal like Yes I give up. What are you giving up? No, it's does doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Could I interest you in a romantic dinner? Oh, that's so sweet of you, Rufus. But I just Chocolate chips? Hey, we don't have any chocolate eh. Think nobody Yanosh, Yanosh. That's what I... No, that was a... Yanosh, you keep... Really? He must... Oh, good... Wait here. Yay! Hi. Ah, a new customer. Welcome to I'm Gulliver. If you need to use the bathroom, let me know. And I'll give you the key. We assume no liability for So I uh need to use the bathroom. Then you should sign this waiver first. A waiver? I hereby confirm that I am not entitled to seek damages against Gulliver, Gulliver's Gully, or Splash Me Toilet Outfitters in the case of blah, 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 hair loss, chemical burns to the nasal mucous membranes, blah, 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 spider bites, rat bites, wolf bites, blah, 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 leprosy, psoriasis, or any kind of curse inflicted by indigenous tribes? Who would sign this nonsense? Well, the owner of the drugstore, for one. Is he suicidal? No. Uh, blind. Using this bathroom is also a popular test of courage. I mean, popular with those who are named in the will. Garliff up there currently has a bet going on with his buddy, Lebo. But, uh, I don't think he's gonna do it. He's still got plans. Yeah, well, I have a plan, too. I'm planning not to act like a coward. Hand me that pen. You don't have to do this. You know that, right? I've never done things I had to do. Well then, good luck. When your urge to go becomes stronger than your sense of self-preservation, you can ask Gala for the key. I'll do that. See you later. Come back when you're serious about buying a drink. Hello, bozo, old pirate. We've been through this, Rufus. I am not a pirate. I'm only a junk dealer with my own trawler. Yeah, right. And the parrot on your shoulder is only perching there by chance. I don't have a parrot, Rufus. I've never had one. Is that so? Then who did I feed those earthworms to whenever you were asleep? You're a rare bird yourself. <laughs> An eagle. Say, Rufus. Was there anything in particular you wanted to talk to me about? Certainly. Then what are you waiting for? The multiple choice box. Wait a minute. Worms? Shh. Here it comes now. What were you going to say earlier? 
Something about a very special boarding maneuver? I don't know what you're getting at. Again. Come on, you can't fool me. You pirates are all the same. A girl in every port and constantly on the lookout for new ports, right? Not in the least. Although... Ah! I knew it! My Bambina lives here, in the floating black market. But I don't think that really counts. We were only together for two days. And, uh, and then she sent you packing? And she held a pistol to my head for the entire time. Actually, that should count. I do believe Spunky Goal likes me. Spunky Goal? Yeah, she's really something, you know? <laughs> Looks like all of her temperament wound up on one cartridge. <laughs> Whoa, then you better be careful. Believe me, I know that kind of woman. They can be quite tame and playful if you know how to handle them. But make one wrong move, say one wrong word, and out come their claws. <laughs> Do you think I should buy her a scratching post? The only thing that helps is the right choice of words. It was the same with my Bambina. I only had to say the one all-important sentence, and the tigress turned into a docile kitten in one instant. Oh yeah, then why aren't you still together? Well, I got a little horse, and she made it to a rifle cabinet before I reached the door. Oh. Tell me more about your Bambina. Well, she's the most spirited woman I've ever met. She owns the weapons shop in Little Venice. She's got a killer personality, although she's never been convicted. It's been a while since I lost my heart to her. Good thing Doc happened to have a donor heart handy. I think you should pay a visit to your Bambina. What? <laughs> no way. Forget it. Oh, come on. She sounds really hot. Yeah, so hot she could burn out your throat. And she would, too. What are you, a pirate or some kind of pie pan? For the umpteenth time, I'm not a pirate. And I'm also not interested in having you entangle me in all kinds of weird adventures. I like my life just fine, the way it used to be before I met you. Peace and quiet. Serenity. Raiding parties, sea battles, mutinies, slaying of the firstborn. Sunday afternoon walks, gardening exhibits. Pillaging, keel hauling, treasure hunts, walking the plank. Damn it, Rufus. Not everyone likes conflicts. I certainly don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. No, no, and no. Yes, 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 yes! On the contrary. On the contrary, I hate conflicts. I... Uh, okay, I give up. Ha! I knew it! You've still got a crush on her, don't you? I'm going to pay her a visit. Meet me in front of the weapons shop in Little Venice. I'm going to need emotional support and medical assistance. Of course you will, you old swashbuckler, you... Excuse me? Hmm? What do you want? I think an apology would be in order. What for? Like, for attacking me in the street? Listen up, kiddo. I'm a member of unorganized crime. And how does that give you the right to assault innocent passers-by in broad daylight? That's the way we roll. Cool. So, uh, unorganized crime. What is it exactly? We're just like a criminal organization without the organized bits. C could I join you, maybe? I'm incredibly unorganized. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? I'm a gifted tinkerer. Really? So what do you tinker? Power inverters, escape machines, a life of order and contentment. Eh, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. Well, how can I prove to you that I'm reckless enough? <laughs> You'd have to do something truly reckless, like shave Donna's cat, for instance. 
If that's all... Uh, that wasn't a serious suggestion. Nobody in his right mind would ever do something that reckless. Hey, I'm not nobody in his right... M I, uh, hmm. Don't try to stop me. I'll soon be part of your organization. You'll see. Ah, beat it. I'll get back to you. Whatever. May I bother you? Not really. Then I'll have to do it without your consent. You're part of a resistance movement, or so I've heard. Who said that? That's top secret information. Sorry, didn't know that. And the others don't seem to be clear on the concept either. Then please tell them! We can't have everyone broadcasting my secrets. May I join you? Impossible. You could be an Organon spy. But how are you going to fight the Organon if you don't recruit new members? <laughs> Through passive resistance. Meaning you do nothing? But we do. We constantly hatch new plans about how we can resist even more passively. Sometimes we even don't say a bad word about the Organon for weeks. That's how passive we are. Wow, the Prime Controller is going to blow a fuse when he finds out. Please let me join you. I want to impress a woman. You think that would work? Of course. Women go for courageous men. Yeah, I, I was... I... Hey, bro... Here. I know... I'll be off then. See you around. Did it just get colder in here? Ah! What is that? Oh! Ah! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Anything but that! Take it away! Take it away! Ah! Not this agony! Ah! <laughs> Everything okay, kid? Uh, I've been in worse tavern bathrooms. It's just, uh, I heard these noises, and let's just say the toilet paper could be softer. You don't have to play the tough guy for me, kid. I've been in there before, and I know the toilet paper. I feel your pain. By the way, you got a piece stuck to your foot, and you should remove it before someone sees. They would, uh, they wouldn't understand. Now I must go to your doctor to get a replacement! <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 
on coals. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Expired tranquilizers, huh, <laughs> better than nothing. Is this a prescription? May I touch? At least it seems to be written in braille, although the writing is a little smeared, but it isn't a prescription. Darn, I was so sure this time. Wait a minute, this is one of my coupons. Where did you find it? <laughs> it was under his nose the whole time. With this, you get a free sample of my latest shipment. Cucumis Agnito, the cucumber of revelation. It's so new that there aren't any studies on medium or long-term after effects. Cool. Hello? What do you mean, bleh? The nerve. Ow! 
Ow! Ow! Ow! Ow! Ow! Ow! Ow! Ow! Ow! Ow! Ow! Impressive digs. Ahem. Have you ever heard of knocking? Of course, but I find their new album too commercial. What are you doing here? Don't you at least wipe your feet? Not since my eighth birthday. Back then, my... My... Dad? Rufus? Dad! You're Captain Seagull? I... Ahem. Your shoes, Rufus. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Wow, Dad, this is really a totally radical kick-ass location. And a doormat made of real wombat. Respect. Doormat? Yeah, it's, it's hanging right next to the door. That's my Sunday coat. Oh. Listen, Rufus, I'm a busy man. Just tell me what brought you here, and then run along and play again, okay? Don't go away. I'll be back soon. Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy it. This is no luxury villa. There's even parasites nesting here. That is my aquarium. I collect rare ornamental fish. Rarely significant, maybe. And they're tiny, too. Hmm. I should actually feed them again. I need breadcrumbs. There. Here, Rufus. Be so good and take this memo to the servant's mailbox. Yeah. Who does he think he is? Well, he is my... Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm not his errand boy. This is no luxury villa. The whole wall is open here. That's called a picture window, Rufus. This way I always have an eye on the entire black market. But there's a terrible draft. Ah. The floor heating is actually supposed to compensate for that. I need coal. There. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 1. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 2. <laughs> this library is a total waste of space. As a real gentleman, I read a lot. As a real blah, 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 that doesn't change the fact that the shelf is big and ugly. Besides, it's too dark in here to read. Ah, that's true. I should buy a new crystal chandelier when I have the chance. But for now, a few candles will suffice. I need candles. There. This is no luxury villa. This place is overrun with weeds. Those are flowers, Rufus. I have them brought from the garden as decoration. What? <laughs> These hideous vegetables? Uh, they could actually use a bit more water. I need water for the flowers. There.
Can't you do anything on your own? That is why I have servants. Oh, yeah. Do they wipe your butt, too? Oh, that reminds me. I uh, stop need scribbling. Toilet Haven't you noticed that this doesn't save you any time? On the contrary, you spend all your time writing notes. Mind your tone, young man. Pardon me, sir. Oh, wonderful. Now I've lost my thread of thought. What was I going to write down? Ah, that was it. I need thread. Huh. This one catches the eye. Yeah. Secret doors in bookshelves for dummies. Pull on the book titled Pull Here for Secret Door. Wow! Who would have thought? What is that? A message from Captain High and Mighty? You can keep it. I don't need any of the stuff he needs. Well, this message may interest you much more. What? Show me. I need bread. Damn! He needs bread. I read that. And you have bread. Yes, but I... Well? I don't need that sort of thing. Go ahead and take it if you want it. <laughs> you can bet on it. I have another memo from Seagull. Oh, dear. I've got a bad feeling about this. I need coal. <sighs> that I don't need them anymore, do I? Go on. Help yourself. Mail from Seagull. Oh, please, no. I need candles. So, the candle too. Go on, it's yours. Guess what I have here? Another memo. Bingo! I need water. <gasps> what else? There goes the water. Here I am again, and this time... Just take everything you can find. I don't need anything at all anymore, except for a quiet moment to cry myself to sleep. you doing you said I can take everything but those are my mother's ashes hey I didn't make the rules I just bent them a little <laughs>
Huh. They only have dishes made from platypus here. Lady Goa won't like that at all. I'd like to order some takeout. Very well. Just make your choice from the menu. Is this your order? Yes. Why? Right. Uh, that comes to, uh, zero slotty. <laughs> that deserves a large tip. Let's say 30%. How very generous. And you can keep the change. What's that supposed to be? A fortune cookie. Since you're bragging about your oh-so-terrific fisherman's luck, maybe you could prove it for a change. Huh, if that's all. There you go. I won. Hooray. What? Show me. Nothing doing. I won that. And I always wanted to be, um, a member of the Platypus Club. But it was my cookie. Ah, shut up. Here's your stupid membership card. I'm already a member of that silly club, once accidentally fell on a scratch card. And now, leave me alone with your nonsense. What was it I didn't want to do again with jars full of hooks? Oh yeah, stick my hand in. Ow!
I'm a member of the Platypus Club now. Congratulations! You are now officially part of the Platypus community. Will I be expected to shave my head or wear robes? Nope. But you get a free copy of the Platypus Field Guide. Is there a <laughs> no way to avoid that? Keep it safe. Someday it might save your life. The Big Platypus Field Guide, third edition. Let's see if it says anything useful in there. Hmm, this is interesting. Apparently, in every generation, there is one platypus of each type that guards the nests against thieves. The eggs of these nest guardians are well hidden by the mother. There are four types of platypus, so a total of four nest guardians. Of course! I just need to find the four nest guardian eggs and hatch them. Ha! <laughs> then the corresponding platypuses won't be on the menu anymore, and I can finally invite Gold to dinner! <laughs> this plan is like so crazy, so crazy, it just has to work. It says here that earth platypuses hide their eggs in the soil. It's a good thing I'm not on an island made of flotsam. Earth platypuses hatch in frozen soil with the first ground frost. Oh, bummer! I can't possibly wait for the start of winter. It says here that flying platypuses hide their eggs in high places. They seem to be very acrobatic. <laughs> Just like me. Flying platypuses hatch in free fall from the highest point of their habitat. Hey, tricky, but cool. Strange illustration. Looks like the artist didn't know what a landing net is or didn't know how to draw. It says here that fire platypuses hide their eggs in hot geysers. Geysers? There's nothing like that around here. Fire platypuses hatch in blazing fire. That's what I call an innate flair for a dramatic entrance. It says here that water platypuses hide their eggs near the shore. Well, great! It's not easy to find a place on this hunk of flotsam to which that doesn't apply. Water platypuses hatch, excuse me, in the mouths of living zebrafish? <laughs> hey, disgusting! It also says here that zebrafish are freshwater fish. It may be difficult to find any here. Oh, platypus, you are the best. Upon your breast, I'll gladly rest. I like your pretty face so well and your sweet platypussy smell. Into your eyes, I'm fondly gazing. You're not a platypus. <gasps> Amazing! Your legs are short. Your nose is flat. I must admit, I fancy that. I like your pretty face so well and your sweet platypussy smell. Goes nothing.
I am very sorry, sir. The destruction of sample items is not permitted. I'm not doing that, because according to the label, these sunglasses are indestructible. That is correct. Well then. Cucumber of Revelation, reveal your wisdom to me. Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. <laughs> See? As good as new. <laughs> I see. Ingenious. I just have to convince this tin can to wear the glasses, and then, um, whatever, something really clever. I am very sorry, sir, but the golden dragon of invisibility is not a floor model. I didn't even touch it. I just wanted to, to stretch my fingers and... Uh, um. All right, all right. And what's this? What you cannot see there is the golden dragon of invisibility. Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. See? As good as new. Stop acting cute. The glasses are broken. Excuse me, where are you? I cannot see you at all. This indestructible high-end gadget is obstructing my view. What an overwhelming experience. Hello? Hello? Gah, that thing sure has some nerve. Uh -huh. Did you clear your throat? But you can't see what I'm doing. Or are the sunglasses broken? Certainly not. The sunglasses function perfectly. Hehe, <laughs> super. Dang it. Now that I have removed this fully functional item, may I politely inquire what you are doing over there? Well, I'm, I'm just uh, admiring your, your golden dragon of invisibility. It's really pretty. I hate you. <laughs> it works! I'm invisible! <laughs> woo! Woo 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 woo! <laughs> Ow!
<laughs> I sure fooled him. you are my optician knows karate but rufus it's me bozo <laughs> you look ridiculous ridiculously good uh you don't think that and nah just right and no oh so you're you're i don't do you really think of course it's gonna be great Left. Yes, but the view was fabulous. Oh, how did I? You nasty brat! How many times do I have to tell you that I didn't shoot your grandpa? Well, at least not on purpose. What, Bozo? Is that really you? Um, uh, no. Come on in. I don't want to have to dispose of the body of yet another noise pollution officer in the canal. Come on! And now you tell me exactly where you have been all this time. Well, I, I, I was on my way to... Uh, what are you doing with that machete? Please calm down, will you? Aren't you at all glad to see me? Come on, Bambina. You know exactly what's gonna happen. First, you're mad as a hornet, but as soon as I say this certain line, what's that? this din. I think you better leave now. But... Out! Now! See, I told you. Shh! Did I just hear something? No, I don't think so. I mean, doormats can't talk, right? Sugar in the tank, good or bad for the engine? Well, there's only one way to find out. Ah, right. It was bad. Thought so. It's really dark here, but not so dark that I'll have to use my legendary sonar hearing. After all, I have the brightest eyes in the whole southwest quadrant. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Breathing all that mercury vapor when I was a kid is finally paying off. Ouch! Oh, ha! Oh! Nothing happened. <coughs> I don't need any more equipment for that. I can rely completely on the accuracy of my index finger. Got it. Why don't you play something else for a change? Here. The Dead Pigeon Tango. Hmm, it's not so romantic, um, but, uh, va bene. I will do my best. Which isn't much. Do you really think that's a good idea? You're not gonna give up to tell you the truth. Come on! <sighs> Stupid! Do it as a salesman! When will you ever learn? If you prefer to have a full set of legs, you should never, ever... You again! Come on in! You've got some nerve showing up here again! I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... Behind the drawer. Oh, sorry, mio. La 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 la. la, 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 la. Ah, not again. How am I supposed to concentrate while he's yelling like that? Y you know, I, I find it quite romantic. Out! Now!
cute. Hmm. Hmm, nothing. Hi ho, hi ho. Are you looking for trouble? Oh, come on. Sing along. Hi dee 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 do. Man, are you lucky I don't hit the handicap? Hmm, nothing. I don't need any more equipment. I can rely com Huh, so that's how it works. Hmm, nothing. The Dead Pigeon Tango. Nothing. The jukebox is out of order. All it does. <laughs> oh, yeah. the dead pigeon tango. The dead pigeon tango. It's hard to believe, but he really sings. Another new airbag? How many replacement airbags does Doc have?
Got it. Why don't you play something else here? The Jolly Johnny song. Mm, it's a not so romantic, um, but uh, va bene. I will do my best. Which isn't. To turn. Come on. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... Why don't you play here? The Junk Avalanche Tarantella. Mm, it's a not so bad. I wish.
with you. You know, to come. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... The five seats I the one to do in life. I wish I saw the major flaw I was about to do. Of all the things I should have not ever made a low angle shot of a scrap metal avalanche as I hit number two. Oh, so let me oh, la 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 la. Ah, not again! Y you know what? Out! Got it. Why don't you play something else here? The mating song of the junk crabs. Magnifico! Finalmente! Una canzone molto romantica! As long as there is no junk crabs nearby, it's non pericoloso, eh? Mille grazie! Ru refuse, ru ru refuse, ru refuse, super super defuse. <laughs> hey, you can say what you like about those black market bumps, but they have good taste in music. That isn't the secret knot. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. The secret knot goes. <laughs> You fool, now you've given it away. Let me in. First, the knock. All right. Now can I come in? No, wait, I got that wrong. That was the old knock. What? But... I know, it's a shame we changed it. The old one was much easier to remember. Nevertheless, we're using the new knock now. <sighs> and how does it go? It's a secret. Oh, darn it. Nice people here.
Maybe I put it back together wrong. I'd better take it apart again. You're not going to kick up. Stupid daughter, the horse salesman. When? It's you will get. Come, Come on. You got some nerve showing up here again. Wait. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... Do you feel the noise, dear? I'm getting a noise here. A chakra settled in our clock. The racket about as if to mock. The noise is aspiring. If I am not erring. A chakra in the chronograph. I'm having a laugh. Gotcha. Run! You're free! But don't get lost. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Oops. Why does that always... You're not getting to come. Drink it, Girl Scout! Yo. You will get him. Come on! You got some. Uh -oh. Come on. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and. I'm shaken, awaken, if I'm not mistaken. A chakra nesting in a clock, the racket about in the tickety tock. Excluded, if I'm not deluded. A prince of architects rummage our chronometer. It's late and I'm tired, if I'm not ill wild. Jungle calls the dreadful noise in our time measurement device. What's that now? You're kidding? The trumpets and fiddling. What the crap? I'm going to snap in ice and risk of skidding. How can I sleep with Jungle near the ear? What's all my sorrow? I fear, my dear, we have to exile wedding tomorrow. Ah, not again! <laughs> ho 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 ho! <sighs> what a sight! Go ahead, Bozo! Say it! Whoa! Now comes the interesting bit. <clears throat> Why, hello, doll. Come here often. Oh, Bozo. Wow. Six words that open the gate to a whole new world. Hey, hands off the tree! Okay. What? That wasn't my hands. Because, because I did it with my feet. You see? Here, feet! Boom! <laughs> oh, come on! That was funny! <laughs> And why does my back suddenly feel like somebody scratched the word revenge into it with a rusty rake? Ugh, must be the stress. I've got enough loose dirt in my coat. If I need more soil, I should look for an appropriate container. <laughs> yeah, well.
Hey, stop right there. I don't think I can pull this off without tools. Perhaps these two rocks and the meerkat trap over there could help. Gotcha. You thought you could fool me, didn't you? But the wiser man never gives in. According to the field guide, this is a water platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! <laughs> well, looky here. If that isn't a radio station, what have we here? Slides of some sort. Probably the plans of unorganized crime. Let's see what those clowns are up to. 
Wait a minute. Nothing but scribbles. Somebody smeared finger paint on this. But that's... Hello? Wink, please come in. Uh-oh. There's a radio message coming in. Wink, answer me. Wait a minute. I know that voice. I bet it's Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station. Wink, are you going to pick up or not? This is Cletus. I mean, it must be Cletus. Of course, Gold's fiancé. Well, ex-fiancé, actually. He appears to have survived the crash of the escape pod. But what has he got to do with unorganized crime? I better answer this. I'm great at imitating voices. He'll never catch on. Hello, Cletus? Wink, is that you? Why are you talking so funny? I'm not talking funny. I sound exactly like Wink. A phonetically trained ear would hear that right away. Stop blabbering nonsense and get to the point. You know good and well that time is running out. Tell me, have you been able to track down my fiancé? Ex-fiancé, you mean? I mean goal, my fiancé. Wait, I've got the picture you wanted. You can print it as a slide. And here's a picture of the cartridge that holds the ascension codes. Ascension codes? Uh-huh. That nincompoop is tough. He's not giving up. Excuse me? My income group's not enough for living it up. Well, that should be the least of your worries right now. Do you need any more materials? I'm sorry, but we have to refuse this assignment. What? Did I hear you right? Do I really have to remind you what's at stake? Uh, yeah, maybe just a little. Oh, the last high boat will be leaving Deponia from Port of Fisco in a week. So if I don't have the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, I won't be able to get back to Elysium in time! Now that would be a disaster. You said it. Actually, I shouldn't be telling you any of this, but I'm doing so anyway, because I know about the importance of motivating underlings. For reasons that are really none of your business, I must tell the Council of Elders in Elysium that Deponia is uninhabited. An awful lot depends on that. Everything else is insignificant. <laughs> right. Ulysses, the Organon's prime controller, takes no risks. If my report doesn't reach Elysium in time, he will see to it that Deponia is indeed uninhabited. Say what? I mean, uh, <clears throat> what did you say? The Organon has the means to turn the entire area around the Rust Red Sea into a desert. If I haven't got my hands on the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, they will drop a bomb from this blast tower. You'll find the coordinates on the next slide. As a result, all life on Deponia would probably be extinguished. This slide provides the proof. But then you would be dead, too. Oh, bravo. You're beginning to see why it's so important to me to get gold back. I hope you'll be sufficiently motivated now to find her. Cletus, out. Uh, j just, just a moment. I... Uh, 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 oh, blast it. What do I do now? If Cletus doesn't get the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, then all life on Deponia will be eradicated. But if he does get them, all of Deponia will be destroyed. I have to beat him to it somehow. Looks like it all depends on how fast I can bring Goal around. In other words, on my charms. <laughs> it can't be so hard then. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving the house cat of a criminal syndicate would be really extreme. So extreme that they would be guaranteed to make me an honorary... Well then, let's do it. Huh? What's this? This is stuffed. Then where's the real kitty? Ah well, who cares? Uh-oh. What have you done? The boss really isn't gonna like that. We'll see. Boss! Boss! Here comes the boss. How's my hair? <laughs> what a question. Perfect as always. What? Who? What's all this about? I mean, where's the boss? Somewhere behind this mad woman? <laughs> I caught an intruder. Oops! 
Aw, poor kitty. Good kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. This little dipshit shaved kitty. What do you want us to do with him? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. But she's only twitching. Th this lady suffers from ticks. <laughs> well done. Now you've really ticked her off. So, any last words? Well, what did she say? Isn't that obvious? That I'll be made into shark food? <laughs> Bravo, you guessed it. Yippee! Oh. Go ahead. A quick and painful death is better than having to endure this farce any longer. <laughs> Donna says no. What, I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> now you have me confused. Are you being serious or not? <laughs> huh, she nodded. Did you see that? Yeah, but I can hardly believe it. Apparently, that means that you are now one of us. Congratulations, uh... Rufus. Rufus, right. There's not many that make it. Two so far. How did that happen? Finally, my own tournament hand. Look at this! A fine specimen, wouldn't you say? What the? Don't tell me you caught that! <laughs> sure looks like it. Holy heck! Perhaps I misjudged you. Just how is that possible when you have so little fisherman's luck? What's your secret, buddy? I use a special kind of bait. <laughs> And now he claims to have a... Wait a minute. Bait is important. And you must have caught that razorfish somehow. Could it be that you really got a special bait? Are you calling me a liar? Not if you show me your bait. Huh. What's in it for me? Well, I could offer you a tiger fish. An ordinary tiger fish against my fantastic special bait? You must be a few worms short of a can. Forget it then. Forget it then like so totally. Ha! See if I care. If you want a tiger fish at some point, bring me your special bait. If not, shoot! He wants his peace and quiet. He can have it. What's that supposed to be? What do you think? My special bait, of course. Hmm. That really does look like genuine bait. All right. Maybe you do know how to fish. You can take a tiger fish. Ha! Got it. Congratulations, Mr. Fisherman, now give me the bait. Huh, I don't know. It's a pretty tiny fish and really big bait. All right, all right. Anything to shut you up.
May I bother you again? Andrew. <laughs> why are you? I'm, why do you? Because. <laughs> I want to. And they're not. So. I'm ready. Well then. One, two, three. I won. So you need to surrender two fingers. What? So what did you think this was about? Get on with it. Put your hand on the table. You didn't stand a chance. I told you so. Want to play a game? Wait, what is this? Those are loaded. Any attempt to cheat counts as a lost round. So you need to surrender two fingers. What's that? Rock? You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. You win. Even though these are my lucky fingers. Oh, well. It ain't over as long as I have some fingers left. There. You won't pull that one again. You ready for the showdown? What's that? Rock? You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. What's that? Rock? You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. Impossible. You... you beat me! <laughs> Don't mess with Rufus. That's what I keep saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like I underestimated you. Well, be that as it may, I'm an honest player. And I keep my word. This is our secret knock. Can you remember that? Yeah, I'm not so sure. Can I hear it again? Uh, but you mustn't tell anybody else. <laughs> Nobody but goal. What was that? I need some alcohol now. Ah, me too. Hmm? Oh, it's you! How nice! It is done. We really? Sure. Wow. Then what are we waiting for? We have to last... But no, no, hey, hey, stop! Oh, rats. Du, du, da, du, 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 da. be right. <laughs> Finally. But I'm not sure. I can never remember the new knock. Could you knock the old one again, just to be sure? But 
That's pure harassment. If you're one of us, then you ought to know it. And this is better not be a knock-knock joke. Hmm. With my superb memory, I actually ought to remember how it goes. He did knock it once before. All right. And this is better not be a knock-knock joke. What about it? <laughs> hmm, that but could you and what about it? And this is better not be a knock-knock joke. It's empty, if you don't count all the creepy crawlies. An out-of-the-way door in a dark alley. I wonder where it leads. That could, but I could you not and this is weren't you gonna knock? <laughs> hey, that's enough. I'm coming out now. I don't see the humor in knock knock jokes. Huh? There's nobody here, so it wasn't a knock knock joke after all. That isn't the new knock, Lebo. Yeah, I forgot it again. Can I just use the old one? Oh, yes, okay. But only because it's you. Now I've got it. Hey, that was right. Of course it was. Well then, what are you waiting for? Come on in. The door's open. The door is what? Ah, another new recruit. At last, our course is getting the attention it deserves and a smattering of respect. Say what? What are you getting at? Attention. And? A smattering of respect. <laughs> hmm. Just listen to you kikul. <laughs> stop it. No, wait. Don't stop. How can I stop if you never tell me what it is that defines you exceedingly humorous? <laughs> Bravo. Awesome. But <laughs> Seriously, what place is this? Some kind of circus? Because, you know, I'm really looking for the hideout, not a... You have control. Hey! What is that all about? You want to stop the Organon? I'm all for it. But you're going to need the right leader. Someone who's got courage and charisma. Shek, shek. With clear elocution. Shek. In short, someone who could go up against the Organon all by himself if need be. <gasps> Cowboy, don't. I was talking about. Don't make. 
fault could possibly kvi- What do you think? I've got a- I have got to con- Oh, do you now? So, what's your- They're shitting here, dick snacking on sh- And quitch. And what exactly are you hoping- Move. Well, it oh, oh, of course. I wasn't- Oh, get- Your con- For cry- I'm taking matters into- Yes, oh, yeah. a slap. I bet this- Watch and learn. Oh. What is that? A spot? Impossible to recognize anything. A symbol. A shimbo? How mysterious. The concept sounds pretty positively m Shut up, Leibold. And what does it say? It shows what- Wow, this is sh- You're a pretty- But do you have- I'm most certain- Here. What's that? An Organon bombing fort. The Dark Exchequer has distributed these towers around the planet. I find that disturbing. I'm scared. We don't quite understand. Why would the Organon build towers like that? What's the purpose of those bases? Our enemy will try to eradicate Deponia. What? But... are you really sure? Of course. It's true! The order comes from... they have no... Inconceivable! But what are we gonna do about it? Our team will dare to attack. Attack the Organon? Are you out of your mind? We don't even know where to strike. Yes, we do! I obtained topographical data locating one particular Organon fort. Wow. He seems to be really well prepared. I thought there were hundreds of blast towers. Why should we tackle... Our enemy might... Detonate a bomb here and put an end to all life, marine and on land. That's horrible. Rufus is right. We must prevent it at all costs. But what comes next? What about all the other blast towers? Goal and her brain implant might mean an important trump in our hand. So far, I understand it all. Can you give us a brief? I will do that. I uh, no, no, you don't have to do that, Janosch. I, I, I can. No, no. I... Uh oh. All right. Show the first slide again, will you? Exactly. W what was that exactly? An Organon bombing fort. Our enemy will try to eradicate Deponia. Our team will dare to attack. So far, so good. And what is this? You obtain topographical data, locating one particular organ on fort. Our enemy might detonate a bomb here and put an end to all life, marine and on land. Almost done! Goal and her brain implant might mean an important trump in our hand. You've understood everything. Bravo! That's all very well, but how does it help us? An Elysian inspector named Cletus is currently here on Deponia. Goal accompanied him. That's why she's here in the first place. Her codes serve to activate the last high boat in Port of Fisco that is supposed to take her back to Elysium. We have to let Elysium know that Deponia is actually inhabited. Therefore, I will take gold. But of course, you could try to sway the count. Once they learn that Deponia is inhabited, they'll cancel- But why should you of all people go to Elysium? Because I'm the spitting image- <laughs> That's all- But it's true- Rufus- What a And it gets Argus- It's me during the- And then- What do you say? Are you- That sounds- But it's our only- ch Any more qu- <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Long live Rufus, our spearhead! That was so 
cool! You made Janos look like a little idiot. <laughs> well, how else would he look compared to somebody my size? Now all I have to do is persuade your two other aspects. I'm sure you'll find a way. And I should know, the others are a part of me, to tell you the truth. I liked you right from the start. You were a lot like Cletus, but you lack his moody, spiteful side. That's true. Just thinking of that idiot really gets my dander up. And you're so clueless and bumbling, which makes you very attractive to women. Thanks. <laughs> I think. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? Huh? What the...? Everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. I'll have the same again. Why, hello, doll. Come here often? <laughs> what did you say? <clears throat> Why, hello, doll. Come here often? Is that supposed to be funny? I... but... First, you drag me off. And then you try to be cute? Why hasn't it occurred to you that I might be well and truly pissed off? Uh, well, why? Hello, doll. Come here often. Whoa! No brawling in my bar. This may be the favorite hangout of the lowest scum in town, but some rules still apply, you know. He started it. I haven't done a thing. Uh, he's got a point. Running around like an idiot. Hey! But maybe... I said, you're lucky... Go ahead. Maybe I'll... If you... Whoa! Here in the... There is only platypus... Bring it on! Fun. Huh, that was fun. Maybe you're not the little idiot I took you for after all. That's because people tend to overlook my true greatness. Now all I have to do is persuade your last alter ego. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You are a lot like Cletus, only without his attitude and his misguided sense of superiority. That's true. 
I'm totally laid back. And you exude a certain air of neglect that makes you very attractive to women. Thanks. <laughs> I think. I'd better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? You should always keep an open. Yeah! Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> According to the field guide, this is a fire platypus egg. Cool! That's just what my collection was missing! Oh. Darn it. The egg hopped into the pipe system completely by itself. I have to get it out of there somehow. Hot, 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 hot!
Voila, a zebrafish. According to the field guide, water platypuses hatch their young in the mouths of living zebrafish. So far, so good. I can transport that without a bucket, too. I like the feeling when it bounces back and forth, loose in my pants. That may be just, but it's no worth. According to the field guide, earth platypuses brood in frozen soil. So far, so good. Who do we have here? Gucci goo! Well, hello! So young and already so aggressive. It may not be a water platypus, but it swims like one. I should be able to free it from the ice with that. Ah! Cold! Of course. Ha! I could restore the poor fish to life 
with a couple of targeted all those hours. Rufus, what are you doing out there? Stop that right now. The generator is beginning to overload. The energy flow is off the scale. Space is already beginning to bend. Just a second. Come on, fish birds. Live. Live. <laughs> I did it. It's alive. <laughs> Rufus, damn it. Yeah, okay. Whatever that was, it was extremely cool. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into... Otherwise, it won't enjoy... Hey, what's that twitching? Uh-oh. It doesn't look like Frankenfish is doing too well. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. The twitching has... Uh, that probably means I used to have a cool zombie pet. Of course. Ha! I could restore the poor fish to life with a couple of targeted electric sh All those... Rufus, what are you doing out there? Stop that right now. The generator is beginning to space. Just a second. Come on, live. Live. <laughs> it's a... Rufus. Yeah, okay. Whatever that was. It was extremely cool. But now I should make sure that the fish gets into some water. Otherwise, it won't enjoy its existence as a zombie. Hang on, Frankenfish. Hey, what? Uh-oh, but now I... Hang on, Frankenfish. <laughs> Cute. But I should hurry. I have to take him someplace where he can brood in peace. Hey, what's that twitching? Uh-oh, it does, but now... Hang on, Frankenfish. <laughs> but I should hurry. I have to take... Rufus, what are you doing? Don't try to stop me. I have to save the life of a fish. It was a brief but fulfilling existence. You worthless idiot! Remove that monster from my aquarium immediately. Come to Papa. A crank! This crankshaft without a cr roof is... According to the f cool!
And they say I don't know anything about fishing. I've built... Good idea. Now, I just have to fasten the end somewhere, and I'll have... Nothing happened. that? Is that a lint trap? It seems to belong to the Flagomat. Hey, just for the record, I'm not doing this to clean up here. I'm doing this to test the suction power of the handheld vacuum. <sighs> Slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my well then. Whoa! A perfect trajectory. I'm sure that can be used as... It should be possible to build something useful out of it. A landing net for flying... Hmm. Ah, yes, of... Heh. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm so... Otherwise... Here, platy platy, look at the yummies that Papa Rufus has. Here, platy. Ha! Got it! According to the field guide, this is the breeding ground for the local earth platypus colony. But let's go, my duck billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> Kind of cute. Let's go, my. There's a nest. Welcome, what? Pla Tell me more about these greeting cards. It's platypus. Pl so, uh, when you've got time, I'd, I'd. Re well, here come. <clears throat> I am. He there are platypus. Wow! I suddenly. It's five six.
Grab a bus, platypus. Guess I will, Ducky Bill. Let's go, my. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> Let's go. There's a <laughs> water. Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it? Can't you... I did it! The menu at Shea Schlumpy it took... Ha 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 yeah. So, no. No! No! As it, yeah, this... I... Huh? No! No! I... The sm... It's... Sh and the, you mean... Eat well... Well... No, I... I no! That'll... Hey... No. Mm -hmm. I've been listening... I'm gonna... With an... Don't go... Forget that... Not even... Knock knock. Hmm. Who? You know quite a bit about poetry, don't you? I'd be a lousy poet. Was that a yes? Please. Don't. I know. Most of isn't it all? Not. And the no. Just give it. Bad punzel. Bad punzel. Uh, ringle wrangle runzel. <clears throat> Not bad at all. It's a rip and it's rough. What? Go. Huh. I have a feeling he was only trying to get rid of. Knock knock. Hmm. You again. I still need your help with that poem. No, you. There's a. Just give it a. Here am I, there are you, Platypoo. Say that again? Uh, here am I, there are you, Platypoo. You can't be serious. That is truly atrocious. The very worst I've ever heard. I wasn't going to admit it, but you really need my help. Will you give me lessons? Have I know there is a old... Drop. <sighs> That's what he... What on earth for? Stick it in your... Ear. But it's still wiggling. Don't be such a sissy. Stick it in your ear. Then I can whisper the right words. Cool. Like a... Hey, Dad. <sighs> what can... I know. Don't make too late. I may not be good. What? A prompter. The poet will whisper the right words to me. That poor red. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Must doesn't. But I. I'll do. Oh. As why not? I and what? It's a quench. Uh, from. He even let me borrow a suit. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all.
what just happened. Uh, I must. Uh. Forget it. What's the? F huh? What have you got this time? Well, what do you think? Oh, br apparently, wait, I'm looking. Why didn't she show up? Huh, I might have guessed that Dad doesn't know the first thing about women. With his terrific tips, it's a miracle that I exist at all. Romance and flowers, I'm gonna let him have. Dad? What's been going on? Flower, champ, that, if this, do, start. What's this? I need a radio. Why would the old fart need a radio? Unless, oh, I don't believe first that. Cray, cray. What is it? I found some one no little don't memo. I need a radio. Are you don't you? Why do you have to do this anyway? I do I oh. oh. If that doesn't beat all. Stealing my date from right under my nose. Your own son. Uh, excuse me? You're Rufus's father. He seems to think that. But I'm not. That is totally... Oh. I took him in when I was still mayor of Kuvang. We found him in the garbage, kicking and screaming. He's a trash baby. That isn't true! Examine your feelings, Rufus. I am not your father. Now you tell me? Have you no decency? Oh, look who's talking. Cole, you don't understand. This guy has... Has what? Standing? Style. A clean suit. You see, unlike you, the captain knows how to treat a lady. But... You heard the lady. Do I really need to call an attendant and have you removed by force, kicking and screaming, just like the trash baby that you are? Really? I'll get you for this. Oh, has the wind changed? Something smells a bit off. Just an insignificant little breeze, dear, that's all. I, I, uh, I... All right, so I farted. But that doesn't make him better than me. I am so gonna rain on his parade. I will teach him a lesson so tough that it was dropped from the curriculum of the School of Hard Knocks. Hey, you know about poetry, right? One of my platypus poems even made it. I see you here. Watch this. Radio? Oh, yeah. You it's uh, platypus rolls. I have prepared some. A poem. Okay, here we go. The poem. Pardon me? <clears throat> the poem. <clears throat> go ahead. That was your. Oh, oh, I've got just the. Give it your all. I should be your You are cuter than a. I should be your You look just like a platypus? Uh oh. Ah! Oh, yuck. What? Hey! What the? Wait! You were right, Rufus. Seagull is an idiot. It was very noble of you to try and warn me about him. Thank you. <laughs> Ha <laughs>
I owe you an apology, Rufus. Your foster father may act all sophisticated, but in reality, he is nothing but a sub-illuminated sur- Yeah, just without the stripes. So, what's next on our- Oh, I I, I think- uh, What ex- what It's- uh, We had- hand Me- She's in- What's going on here? Janosch? Psh, I must listen and find out what is going on in there. Why? What is I mean my you you shit oh project by but I you uh, Maybe I can think of something. What will you do? What else? I'm going but she play I Hey, open up it's me Yes? Uh you who can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use it for here. What's this? Another remote? Yes, it's Lee Bowles. It seems to pay. Hey, yeah, I'm you when you huh? What trust and not? What was that? Huh. Ah. And that? Oh, yeah. This. What the? There you are. What just is that? Down? I and uh, they call him Rufus. Not any mime is. Huh. I want proof. Oh, a four eggs. No, no, wait, wait, I remember now. You're thinking of <laughs> you no I just well, Hey! <laughs> Marry you! I told can we fuck you need to is she all don't we what the look how da Whoa! Is that no of can not you Oh well I'm sure or I'm and that root yeah but I him <clears throat> through the port yeah, and the clock and What's going on? Rufus? What are you doing? Doc? Are you alright? Uh, there. This element on Donna's temple. You would. I do. It should let me try. I would, but no. Hey, what the? Go. Rufus, you've I'm off and document. What? Don't. Wow. What? Sorry, Gold. Don't thank me for this later. May I? Uh, mm. Super. Two more remotes. Great. Let's. There's a label on the bottom of one. Hey, it that should and on the oh, the, the one ob. Oh, Might Don't! No, it's fine actually. Was that necessary? Did you? Yeah. Too late. Oh well. Now all we have. All we need. Don't pl oh. I. Hmm. Use vac. Does it always have to be? A I thought that you. I've ever my Q and pop. No, because it's. Uh, hey. hey. You're not happy. Oh. Just you. Uh, but f and if it. Oh man. Oops, 
<laughs> What's going on here? You again? Yeah, who else? Uh, we just are. No future. <laughs> that was scary. I hope the punchline. Hey, it uh, I should open up. Otherwise I'll screw up causality. Yes? Uh Yoo-hoo! Can I come in? Here. What's the hey I'm you with what I Whoa. Well then? Cool. Now what? There you are at what just huh? what's going is that I'm your feet and this uh, they call him Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle. Not any uh, is huh, uh, a four egg so No, no, wait, wait, I remember now. You're thinking of Zeeble Zooble. Ha! Missed it by a m you no I actually just well. Hey, <laughs> future me. I come with you, so she ish, don't we look how What is not up? Can I? You're oh, I'm sleeping and hot. Yeah, but him <clears throat> through the portal. Yeah, okay. And hurt the clock and then oh, what? Yeah, what a moron. Who does he think he but now the and then oh, and hey. Now that's enough. Strike, will you? Oh. If you hit that, the clock is breaking the error. And it's time to go going. The uh, voice really has sweet crap. You the Rufus, what are you doing here? There's been a change of plan. Goal is going to hang on to the ascension codes. Turning against the resistance. Whose side are you on then? Always on the winning side. Yeah, well, sometimes. What the? It's jammed. Ah. Or no, Rufus. Haha, <laughs> very good. You made it on your own. Come with me. It's not over yet. Uh, wait a second. But go. We. I mean, how? Oh, uh. You know, you really need to shave. <laughs> Let's go. I did it! See? Doc? Why? Lady Gold? But she didn't. She is. She did what? Oh, uh, Spunky Gold. She'll make. That wasn't. That was a clean. The other. Lebo. But, but. Oh, oh my. That means I just. Rufus! What have you done to go and to leave? Uh... Hey! Goal! What's this all about? I am sorry, Rufus. I just have to make one more change to your plan, I'm afraid. What? Huh? Yes. Once again, just like every... You cause, but I'm... I can no... Oh, come on! Open up! Don't even try. I need a little... Cletus! What are you ta... Save the world? It just... You can't... That's impossible! Hey, impossible. You said it. It appeals to you. You all and there you can't because you farewell. But wait a sec. But Cletus. Cletus is not at least concerned. I'm a thousand. At least I forget for life for rep and I now you. But what about you? We need to put. What? So I no thank. But we were. That may. But I. I just. But...
Do you re- I know, because- Because no- before, No- No more- I don't- But where's the problem? Why can't we save- Because it- But it isn't. I this is about what you don't know. Have you ever asked yourself why they want to blow up Deponia? What's that? Everything, really. Elysium isn't the paradise you think it is. It is just a vessel, a starship, so that we can start, but Utopia- There is only one pos- The destruction of Deponia. What was that? Elysium is- What? A- uh, A starship? Now, do you finally understand? If Deponia- We cannot- But Deponia- We both know that. So, Elysium- You've got our fathers can so that but there was only they couldn't. Well, what's so gr the gr the sky the enough? Why is this? Eliz it took their dis and now you list Eliz or it's. What if I don't know part of me but that. Okay, but. But what? But I still. Is it really? It wouldn't be if you could exp. Okay, but... But what? But there must be a way! There are even two ways. One leads to Elysium, and from there, onto Utopia. The other one ends here on Deponia, if we survive, that is. I have made my decision, Rufus. Now, it's up to you. Take me... And allow them. You don't. There is too much. Few. You could. And if you. How would. Ah, uh, who? Just as long. I don't. Then. L but I'm saving it would. End. But I, I thought. It's gonna be a. I've made. I'm sorry. There has to be a way to accomplish both. Trust me. I can fix everything. Just like you managed to fix me. All I want is a second chance. You had your chance, Rufus. Deponia had its chance. Sometime you can keep the other two cartridges. They contain nothing but doubts and silly ideals. I can't use those where I'm bound. I've got to hurry. Donna Submersible awaits. If I don't make it to Porta Fisco with Cletus by the day after tomorrow, it will be too late. Good luck, Rufus. But... <sighs> what a woman. Are you out of your mind? She's going to kill us all. I think she's fascinating. Most importantly, she appears to be the part that knows the Ascension Codes. We must stop her somehow. But we're locked in. First, untie me. And then we'll think of something. There is always a way. Yeah, like you need to tell me that. Malevolent karma, so close to the drama, she <gasps> fresh doubts in her heart disarray, and she left him behind, those to not in one mind, planning to reunite with her fierce fiancé. But if you think it's time for a first to resign, so close to the finish line, you don't know him at all. Four year olds gather momentum, on the break of the maggot on and fall by the squall, they put balls to the wall. Rufus! <sighs> ah, there you are. Ready for Shishash? Uh, Janosh, there really isn't a whole lot of room on the trawler, and, uh... Yes, it's a shame I can't come. I would love to fight on the front line, side by side like way back then. Way back then? Well, early today then, but alas, it's not possible. <laughs> I have a mission of my own. Uh-huh, well, that takes precedence, of course. At this point, our organization is simply not large enough to take on the organon. You think so? 
Therefore, I too will travel to Porto Fishko. I'm in contact with the group there that has also taken up the fight against oppression. The passage is already booked. We are going to establish the resistance shell north, right under the nose of the Organon. How does that sound? Uh, good luck. Thanks. By the way, I must ask you a favor in this context. When you are in Porto Fisco, you must definitely pay us a fish it. I'm certain that people will want to meet the spiritual father of the movement. We'll see. Here, you're going to need this. What is it? We have agreed on a new secret knock. Eh, yeah, well, the old one was a piece of crap. Exactly. Nobody was really able to memorize it. Hmm. You know, Janosch, I've really got to go. Yes. Time for you to leave. Adventure is calling! So it is. It's calling. Will you finally shut up, you numbskull? At last? What kept you? Ah, we'll never catch up to the submersible this way. It's not my fault. I was harassed by some bum. Where are we going, anyway? My Donna self mentioned Portofisco, so that's where we should go. I think we should first try to locate the signal from the submersible. I seem to remember there's a radio mast on Isla Watchet. Perhaps I can manipulate the transmitter so that our sonar will recognize the signature of the submersible. By then, Donna will be long gone. No thanks. I say Isla Watchet. Bozo is the captain, and he wants to go to Fisco too, right? We can head for the polar ice cap, as far as I'm concerned. Just as long as you finally agree on something. Enough! I will decide where we're going. Uh, Rufus, those aren't the navigation controls. That's my ear hair remover. Ah. So, that's Porta Fisco, the former metropolis of the Rust Red Sea. A real dump, even by Deponian standards. And what is that awful stench? It fits. Hmm. Yes, it's me, Rufus. No, it's not. If I know it, it, uh... Ha. Wrong, but wrong. Blast it!
That was actually correct. Of course it was correct, you dope. Rufus, is that you? What are you doing out there? What do I know? Maybe I just enjoy knocking. Come on, you're on the sh Rufus, pleased to see you. Janosch, wow. What you built up here? Yes, we almost have. Or the fact that Rufus. Ah, you, she. Ruf, that must. But now you push up. And you're. You ah, I mean. Which. Jat. Well, look who came to see. Keep it. I have a guard. Keep it. The adult. Ex I hope. But Tony, I am. I have. And. The Is there a problem, Rufus? I don't think you have your team. No. Oh, I must say. If she. But. No. <laughs> oh. I was. This. Oh, and you cannot. Yana. Recruit. You're out of your. I am. Rick. Oh, and. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Drop and give me 20 recruits. Don't push your luck. Hey, this is Civil War, Tony. Every little bit of flab on your thighs could mean the death of one of our comrades. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hey there, uh, socially disadvantaged contemporary. <laughs> uh, is that necessary? Why isn't I... Although... And if you want... Hey, I'm... The little guy. Yeah, his name is Wenzel. I have no... Oh, the force... Oh, hey, what? I... I'm... Oh, this is... A, yeah, I... But I... But yeah, I... No, no, I... We could practice a little freestyle. Yeah, the beat ball. That's very... Um, um. um. <laughs> Rufus got the groove. Rufus got the groove. Yeah. Who's cool? Who? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Hey, what's the? Well, I. You know that. I mean, too bad. You bu Smell you and remember. Sure. Oh, and nobody. Li Come in, Rufa. I have excellent my not the qu and it act, but you are yeah. which why are are you some sort of psychic? I but the way to not say you f I uh, however Can you predict the lottery numbers? Oh come on, tell me the lottery numbers. You do you for some I don't want to bother you any longer. I have. Ah, it is time. The time of the great as you under. I can f go on. No, go on. No. <laughs> That's the way. Submit to your fate. <laughs> B -b -b baby goal! 
what was that? That's my new jingle. <laughs> hey, Goal. If, if you're... <laughs> you coming? He li... Next year. Oh. Hey. How do I prevent Goal from marrying Cletus? What? Do I, uh, what? I, I see. That you. Before. Don't I. Um. I did. Oh. So there's that. Ah, this is all humbug. Uh, here. Where have you dragged me to this time? And who's that with the pu- That's... Um... Oh... And I... It's more like- Like, come on! And... And I don't let me Will we be dead? Well, all right. I'll see if I can perceive anything in the ball. I see that Oh yeah I Rich Provided you This is let's get out of no, What was that about our wealth? Oh, rich. Provide. This guy is starting to drive. May I slap? <laughs> but, uh. What was that? Oh, rich. Provide. That. I can't. What? Now, we want to hear lottery numbers. Otherwise, I'll tell you what I can read from entrails. Oh, uh, wait a moment. I haven't said everything yet. The ball isn't telling me the numbers, but it says they are written at this play. If this I... What? That's supposed to be the pole? Lonzo puts more ice in the drinks when he wants to save alcohol. What a disappointment. This could be useful. I'll take it. Iced tea. With the tea. So, I don't... And I still... Now it should be... Open. Don't... Hot? No. Weak. Oh. It's true what they... You just... I'm sure he won't mind. The guru said the lottery numbers were in the stars. I wonder what he meant by that. Ah, maybe he meant that.
Today is not your lucky day, Seagull. My people rummaged through every pile of garbage, but they found no trace of the girl. She was here. Why would I lie to you? I don't know. You appear to suffer from an inflated ego, just like your son. Rufus is not my son. You can do whatever you want with him. But we had a deal. You wanted a tip, and I gave you one. Can I help it if your people are totally incompetent? You are wasting my time. And I can't stand it when my time is being wasted. Hey, you! Tone it down a bit. You're scaring the fish. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I want every nook and cranny of this junk pile turned inside out once more. And close off all access to the harbor. Even if a rat tries to get out of here, I want to know. That was Argus with his bloodhounds. So the Organon is already after us. Shh! He's right. We need to be careful. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I, I'm, uh, I'm uh, b bowing before Neptune. Or, uh, isn't that him? What? Where? Are you mocking me? Mocking, robbing, something like that, yeah. How's it going? Shh! Stop raising such a... Well, let me... I'm not... Good, but... Oh, get off it. You're afraid of the Organon, too. Just get lost. I thought... I... If you're not afraid, then why did you stop fishing? Guess why? <laughs> Your trim tells me the points. Could you please catch what if word is no not I won't you waiting for me to lose my patience? Don't make me laugh, you fidgety I was no I yeah. your feet. Is this really necessary, Rufus? You stay out of this. It's important. Oh, good grief. Come on, Rufus. I'm cold. Never. Please, Rufus, I'm cold. Let's go. Did you hear that? The girl's cold. Nice try, buddy. Rufus, I'm freezing to death. Holy mackerel, you take care of the girl already? She's wearing nothing but PJs. Tragic, isn't it? Okay, okay. I give up. I can't bear to see her suffer. Here's your stupid boot. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> you see, Goal? I won! A worn-out boot! Impressive, huh? My hero. <laughs> Rufus, have fire! <gasps> What's better than a mount? Right, a mountain of burning tires! <laughs>
What's that supposed to be? Uh, um, nothing. I want it. You want Oh, did I say sh I want to. Dude, I. If I'm s I. The nice lady wants. Sh so let's. Allie. Hmm. Yes! That's the way I can teach the dolphins the hoop trick. Oh boy, Tony will be so impressed. I can heart. Here, fi On the other hand, Tony seems to be really busy right now. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Look what. Soon, we will see it can't. Unless a, unless a quantum not real. Take cover. What? I just. What's wrong? I have. I just saw. There's a cat. Hey, go everything. What, what the and I, I can you fit? <laughs> You're too fat, aren't you? Hey, that that's all muscle. Uh, I don't nothing. The last step is up. Fantastic. But that is really the last time I helped Mother Nature iron out the wrinkles. Playing the lot only. <laughs> I would really like, but that. Hey, you! I want to pick up my winnings! I. Oh, oh, thanks. It worked.
Lousy weather. We should make sure we finish up here as quickly as possible. The crust on my overcoat is starting to dissolve. <laughs> the good old banana in the exhaust trick. I should be able to siphon off some diesel. Uh, yeah, now it's all right. That is probably the most boring, but... I went to the radio mast. The transmitter is broken. How do you know? Well, I found... So it is. Oh, here, can you... I already did. Well, what may... Oh, e but what are you... I'm extended, but not the trans... Oh, yeah? Even though I scrape I think I might have something for you to eat. Really? Wow. I don't know what to say. No, 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 not so fast. I want... Uh, it's... Oh. Hey, wait a minute. That's just eggs. The that's no, no, no. There, the tank is full again. Time for a little turbo. The air fresh hour. You should never open an umbrella in a thunderstorm.
<laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphin. <laughs> Darn, my plan obviously needs a little polishing. Salana e young a yes. What was? What do you think? I speak. Save their dip. <laughs> I Maybe I should. I think that they. L They're too far away. I have to get. <laughs> but that <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphins. Hey, what's the big idea? You're supposed to... The dolphins seem to like it. And I said I know something about intelligent comedy. <laughs> Here, fishy. F what was? What do you think? I'm free. Those aren't. Oh, yeah. hey, you anyone who. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They really are highly intelligent. <laughs> Every trip. Proud.
Here we go! The perfect spot for my jacuzzi. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? No, I'm afraid. I'm here. Can you stand in the... Of course. And now? Wait for it. If my... <laughs> because you... <laughs> uh, don't... How? You... Yeah. About as high as so Unfortunately, Doc hasn't been lazy. Oh, great. Only oily water comes out of the tap. Just what I need. And I... That worked really well. What, 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 what worked well? Aren't you even paying attention while I risk my life here? S -s Sorry, I, I, I must have blinked. The torpedo dolphed so. Let the hunt begin! I just have to send a single dolphin to the grid square where the submersible is, and then...
Chop, chop! Do you think the fact that I used normally after all, or we probably <laughs> a lousy candle? With this Stone Age equipment, I ought to be glad the others don't have to run. Pot is still hot. Maybe hot enough to light the. I mean, melt. Ah, finally. Next time, you might want to tell me when you're going to switch my mind. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> this will be Yes? Hello? Hmm, very Oh man, I must def <laughs> What? Rufus? Rufus! 
blasted idiot. Next time, we'll toss him overboard. <laughs> it gets funnier every time. Once again, we're feeling. What? <sighs> Why don't you just cut off the bell? Because I am planning to cut something entirely different off of the immature idiot. That's not a bad idea either. Ow. Yep, or... It fits! What are you planning to do? I'm going to... Maybe there's a back door. In a submersible? Sound. Yeah. Uh. Now stop this. What are you planning to are you f Of course or do the dream of then are you go <laughs> why can't you just Uh sorry It may look like but it Okay, I have a plan. Are you sure the word plan means what you want? I just trust the doll presenting. I take the time for my stuff. Ray. Hey, bozo, together again at last, just like well. But I are so. <laughs> you really. Can you please help me lower the dummy? Sure. Do you think they're taking the bait? It's worth a try. Those critters really. Are... Yes, but. In my. But. Oh, you were all. Perhaps. Whoa! No matter what they. Are you ready for another dive? All right. It's your neck. Left in the lurch on the verge of 
the perch. The search for the submerge was brought to a halt. They stopped Donna Gold Spins with torpedo dolphins. And finally, Hope Glimpse, I cannot exalt. How extendingly aced he was dragged to the base. The bell for the last round was about to chime. The showdown was imminent. And if not, I apprehend the chorus guys will have to work over time. Just where have you been? I was forced to submerge for a while. You picked a great time for that. I can't leave you. She took go as well. No. Uh, we must fight. This time clean. He took their plan. Well, criminal. The rebel. But that's so. You're right there. You of course. And You got it. <laughs> At last, I was on the verge of leaving without you. You know what they say about the Organon. That they resulted from an early attempt to cross human DNA with soya flour? That we always stick to our schedules. Ah. Oh. We would need this de If he's per he, you, he, he, double. He, I, do I get we. Here, what book could he be? I'm the I'm with the with the oh, with the, oh that is I Donna's remote, and the two are all uncertain. Hmm. She oh, hey! We, well, it, you see Cletus back there. He's rather blurry. Something isn't right. That's clear. We, I, I, well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people's skills are only... 
Huh, maybe I should follow her. D and therefore, what you but uh, but uh, but what don't eat them and run. Hey, uh, but what? you really well, you're but no, you're not. Uh, you, you have but I clear. So there. Oh, I'm Are you, looking at. Okay. I think that Cletus intends to. And where is act, it? Yeah, she. Maybe, I'm like, well, she. Uh, if. Huh, maybe just. Don't you. But. Uh, your. Well. Like. Are like, like, uh, uh, you. Well. Your pop. But it isn't. It's no. You go to. Um. So. In a. Whoa. I, how can you. I. This. But. I, uh, but. Where. Anyone be so stubborn? Cletus? Damn. I'm not stubborn. Of Art. course you're stubborn. You're. Well then, that shouldn't be after all. What? A countdown! No, no, no. That was a close, but if that then. Hey! Cletus! What are you doing? Open up! What's up? What's you? You are the. the it, and you are for dome that a or but a or for some. And you not the. I, but by then. And you wouldn't have. So and. Mm, go ahead and stop me. Hey, you moron! What are you doing? I'm. It's a. Lush, that is. Oops, I, I too bad you What have you done this time? Let me see. Ha, you What are you doing? Ow! <laughs> 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 Persistence. I suppose I should kill you now, but 
I'm beginning to feel sorry for you. Who knows how without any I would love you to Too bad that isn't because you For the last time, will you give me that accursed remote? Uh, I know. What are you getting? You this is quit hands the bo Oopsie Daisy! No! You crack brain! Go! Ah! Uh. Cool. Oh, that was Yes, I but you what uh, help me yeah. But first I need to I I not trick I am to Yes. Cletus What? La Roof Cletus didn't lie to you. He I did I not it Go! I go Well Roof what are you but I or I've still got the other remote! You're still missing a queen for your full goal! Oh never mind that one. You can keep her. The game is over and the jackpot is enough for me two amazing gorgeous women one on the left one on the right and me in the middle <laughs> her purest and noblest qualities finally reunited more than enough gold for a modest man like me all you have is a stupid cartridge with nothing but goals mental and childhood troubles that one is rude defiant argumentative forever spreading chaos just like rufus exactly completely useless uh you do realize you're talking about me right what <laughs> at least i'm honest you like that about me don't you yes Yes, you're right, of course. But it's a piece of yourself, Goal. Without it, you'll never be complete. So what? We don't give a hoot. I have the better goals and the ascension codes. We should finally crank up the countdown now. It's not like I can switch it off at this point. Thank you, Rufus. But at least the explosion will be limited to the tower itself. Say, thank you, Cletus. Because I'm a gentleman, I shall give you and your rebel buddies enough time to make a hasty retreat. That's what you do best, after all. Farewell, Rufus. You weren't really a worthy opponent, but that probably would have been asking too much. No! You can't do that! Cletus! Goal belongs together! Wait! I... Uh, uh, this is getting a bit exhausting! It's... Uh... Great! Yeah! They've stopped shooting! Oh, at last! Do you think we won? Actually, I'm not sure. Ah! Ouch. Rufus! Listen up, everybody! It's Rufus! Yeehaw. Uh, oh. Janos? You guys are off course. We need the tower. Zen. Don't forget me. Go! Not go! What? Well, I would. I looked, but I am how to speak. But aren't you gonna miss Baby Goal as well? Hmm. You know, I happen to find. She is definitely going to change her mind. Just trust me. Ambassador, it is time. The tower has been evacuated. We must leave at once. All right. All right. By the way, Gore, I knew you'd come back. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I can leave again, you know. But you won't. Argus plan went awry, and then of the story. You have to admit, you enjoyed it a bit. And now you saw reason, dumped your egotism, and weighed against the public benefit.
Because close to the bonus, where you need cojones And bloody poses and memberships to opposing underground organizations So do unpack the bag, not anyway way too late to sack me And secondly, where am I gonna stay? Huzzah, let's hope.